It could be game over for shamed basketball team owner Donald Sterling and his battle with the NBA. What's more, he might not have to pay a $2.5 million fine. WSJ Sharon Tillop has the story, and she joins us now live from Brooklyn. Uh, Sharon, thank you very much for being there. Glad to be here. So, Sharon, as former President Gerald Ford might say, is our long National Basketball Association nightmare finally over? You know, it really appears that it is. Um, and I, we've had a few moments of false hope. First, when uh, Donald Sterling's wife said he'd agreed to let her sell the team, and then he said he was going to sue. So there's been a lot of back and forth. But we talked to his lawyer last night. Uh, his lawyer was certainly behind, you know, behind putting the fight to the NBC and to the NBA. And he said, you know, he said, really, Donald's done. Do Donald's done. And um, I think a lot of people were very happy that this is sort of go going away um, because uh, people were r rightly appalled at the, the things he said. Uh, avoiding the two and a half million dollar fine. How is that going to work? I mean, the rules are the rules, right? Sure. I mean, they are. I, you know, we need his lawyer said when we spoke last night that his understanding was that he wouldn't have to pay the fine. I mean, you get the sense that the NBA really just wanted this to end. We do have to we haven't heard from the NBA yet. So so the NBA hasn't had its chance to explain its reasoning or um, again, there's been so much back and forth. We want to make absolutely sure that uh, that they're both on the same page. I just, so, so what's great about this, Sharon, is that this this goes out of the the media and and all the sort of the, the, the questions about you know the the racism within within the, the management. It just goes away, so they avoid that. The other thing on the other side of it is that um, Donald Sterling, because of this, makes a massive profit. He bought the Clippers in 1981 for 12 and a half million bucks, and he's been going to be selling them for two billion. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's incredible. And there's really nobody who are, you know, I mean, everybody involved kind of acknowledges that the price is higher in large part because of the circumstances. I mean, certainly the Clippers is a valuable team. It was probably going to go for around a billion anyway, maybe more. But people around the deal were clear that 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 Steve Ballmer, the micro, you know, former Microsoft CEO, he put a price out there that was intended to give, convince the Sterlings to sell when he knew that Donald didn't want to. Okay, well, I guess he's convinced them. I mean, two billion bucks from a base of twelve and a half it really is is quite something. Uh, when do you expect the NBA to comment on this? You know, it should be. They've been pretty quick. I mean, I would expect we'd hear something still this week. I, I'm sure they want to make sure everything's set in stone. They want to make sure they have an agreement. Um, you know, that, that nobody can go back on. But I, it's going to be days. It's not going to drag out for weeks. And then the board of governors still needs to actually approve the sale. Okay, well, maybe our uh, long National Basketball Nightmare will be over. Thank you very much, Sharon Taylor.